Hi guys, welcome to Cavitation Demonstration Unit. <laughs> this experiment aims to introduce students to cavitation and its consequences, the conditions that lead to cavitation, such as pressure drops and fluid flow, illustrate the damage caused by cavitation on hydraulic components, and is to enhance students' ability to identify and mitigate cavitation in practical engineering applications. So, all right, today we are going to be utilizing the GUNS S250 cavitation demonstrator to explore and explain the cavitation phenomenon in this experiment. Before we go into the experiment proper, uh, it will be necessary for us to look at different compartments or components of this demonstrator. So first, we are going to be looking at the venturi meter. This is the venturi meter and here is also called the cavitation chamber. All right. So here we have the cavitation chamber drawn. You can see that we have a particular channel here and it's being constricted at this point. The initial point is where we take our first pressure, the inlet pressure, and then when the fluid moves towards the constriction, towards the venturi constriction, we have our what? P2, pressure 2, and then after the constriction, the pressure expands and then we have what? P3. So, Cavitation can be observed due to the manipulation or adjustment in pressure as the fluid flows. So you can see in the chamber here. So this chamber is, is being demonstrated here. You can see P1, inlet pressure, P2, constriction pressure, P3, outlet pressure. Apart from that, we can also see the voltmeter that is helping us to measure the flow rate of the fluid. This is the voltmeter calibrated in liter per hour. All right. Then we also have the valves. This is the inlet valve that we are using to, or that we are going to use to adjust the pressure flow. All right. This is the outlet. Uh, pressure valve. So now it's time for us to demonstrate this experiment as we have in our procedure. So the first thing we do is to open the water flow line and then adjust the uh, inlet pressure by turning the valve here to, to 0 0.2 bar. So slightly you look at this inlet pressure 0 0.2 bar. Okay, you can see as we are adjusting it to 0 0.2 bar, as well as 0 0.2 bar, you can see the movement in the uh, cavitation chamber. You can see the formation of bubbles, and then now it is forming channels. So those are the observations that we expect you to take down during the experiment at that point. Then also you can record your P2 and what your P3. Then here you measure your flow rate at that point. The flow rate here is what? 250 liter per hour. In the observation, look out for the formation of bubbles, increase of bubbles, channels, noise, even vibration in the chamber, and also fluctuation in the flow and pressure gauges. Thank you. Lastly, I would like to remind us of the importance of this demonstration that it helps us to be able to identify cavitation and also mitigate it in the fluid system, providing solution to how to mitigate cavitation and allow your fluid system to, to perform optimally. Thank you. So this experiment enables petroleum and gas engineering students to familiarize themselves with a uh, cavitation problem in the oil and gas industry, like the liquefied natural gas industries, the flow stations, 
and a host of other industries facing habitation problems. Study the reasons, we can be able to mitigate it and prefer solution to habitation. If you like this video, kindly subscribe and share to have more valuable videos. Thank you.